Welcome to my channel. I'm Rahul Mondra. I'm a full-time freelancer. I'm expert in GFO services tracking and Facebook API conversion. So if you need this service, hire me. And also, I'm expert in Google Ads conversion tracking. So let's get started. Today in this video, in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, show you how to set up Google Ads Add to Card tag. So how to track Add to Card from Google Ads. So first of all, um, go um, come to your Google Tag Manager and Google Ads account. After coming to your Google Ads account, just click on Tools and Setting, then click on the Conversion. Here you can you will face this interface. Now you have to click on the Conversion action. Just click on it. Here uh, start tracking conversion. Here I will track from website because I will track add to cart so I have to click on website after that you have to give the domain name so my domain name is so I'll put here my domain name and we'll scan after scanning scroll down and you can see here add a conversion add a conversion action manually just click on the click on here and you just select add to cut because i am going to uh, track add to cut and name here name it here so that you can recognize i'm giving my website name then uh, you have to select use different values for each conversion because uh, a user can add it your product to uh, add added multiple product to uh, to their card so you have to select it this is not one each uh, you use same value this is not same value this is different so you have to select use different values for this conversion and make sure that you have to type here one so and uh, this count will be every because in every action it will be counted this is not one action like uh, you can see here recommended for lead sign up and other conversion because only the first interaction is valuable because if some some user come to your website and uh, give the information there is one lead but here the in this case the scenario is different because uh, the user come and added added multiple product to the card so that's it and and the next you have to click on done you can change here if you want to change it so you can change it 90 days click through conversion date and this is recommended attribution model so just keep it then click on done then after that you have to click on save and continue so now you will face this interface now there are three options set up with a google tag email instruction to your mail and use google tag manager so we will use an use the standard way the standard way is use this use google tag manager so use google tag manager to install google ads conversion tracking so let's go to the go to the, go to the google tag manager this is my google tag manager now i will create a new tag for google ads add to cart so let's click on new tag click on tag configuration and then click on google ads conversion tracking now you have to put here conversion id conversion label conversion value transaction id currency code so just go to your um, ads account and you can see here conversion id conversion label add to cart and double add to cart this is the conversion label you have to put everything here just copy here from here and go to the google tag manager and just paste here then go to again google ads account and copy it and then paste it here again then add conversion value 
so for that you have to create conversion uh, variables for that so first create variables let's go to the data layer select data layer variable and then you have to put the data layer so i have already copied the data layer so i will give here value so if you give value for uh, according to gf4 schema uh, this uh, data layer uh, variable name should be e-commerce value so put here e-commerce value and you can type here dlv dlv gts um uh, value D A L U V value save it you can name a uh, just okay no problem transaction id now i will add transaction id so let's create and create another variable dlv just name it here name it this variable Let's click on variable configuration and data layer select select data layer variable and name should be this save now the third thing is uh, currency code click on here and just create variables click on data layer variable and the currency data layer variable name should be first dot currency dlv it now i have added everything you can see um conversion value transition id and code now scroll down and click on triggering you have to uh, you can create a trigger also if you don't have so good name I am tracking Google Ads, uh, Google Ad Cut conversion. Google Ads. Add to cut trigger. Google Ads add to cut trigger. You click on here, and it will be custom event. And when somebody click on your add to cut, uh, add to cut on your website, then it will be fired but it will not fart if an user come through facebook or another sources it will uh, fired uh, it will fired when somebody click somebody come to your website through your google ads otherwise it will not fired so just um, add word okay uh, the data is schemas uh, you have to paste the add to cart just like this otherwise it will not work save now i have the all setup is done now name it here give it a name google ads google ads add to cart tag google ads Entity. 
so after publishing any tag you have to submit it so you can give a descriptive name google ads add to cart add to cart tag now publish it Now I'll check whether this tag is firing or not. So go to the preview mode. Then connect. And here I will select done. Go to your add to cut section. You can see add to cut. You can see here uh, conversion action add to guard um, action optimization conversion so so it said custom value and this is unverified we have not verified your tag yet which usually takes up to three hours after someone visited your page containing the tag to help speed this up you can visit the page to the trigger the tag so um, you understand why this is unverified you have to go to your google tag manager and you have to file tag so let's see what happens you have to click on add to cut then i think it will be solved here you will see here no recent activity tag inactive this tag is inactive no recent activity you will see here so click on add to cut let's see what happens If you refresh it, you will see here no recent conversion.
actually here you can see it is still unverified so I have already um, set up lots of conversion here you can see no recent activities no recent activities but it it is unverified because you can see here we have not verified your tag yet which usually takes up to um, which use you can see here it is unverified we have not verified your tag yet which usually takes up to three hours after someone visits your page containing the tag to help speed up you can visit the page to trigger the tag so i have already triggered the tag i have already triggered and it takes time so uh, in three hours it will be like this no recent active conversion so why here you can see here just no recent conversion because uh, you have to run ads first after running ads uh, when uh, if i uh, talk about purchase here will uh, data will receive when somebody uh, come through your ads campaign come through your ads and passes your product and then you will see here and in case of add to cart you will also see here when somebody come to your uh, website through google ads then here you will get the result get the data thank you so much for watching my video